Yes, hello, this is OG. Well, hi, Mama Joe. How are you doing today? You're fine? Good, good. What can I do for you? Oh, okay, so your your son and his family is moving back to town, and they're looking for a place to stay. And uh, you, were, you were wondering if uh, I had room in my house to put them up until they can find their own house. Well, I'll tell you what, Mama Joe, I can do you one better than that. Uh, I was actually thinking about possibly um, selling this house because uh, I'd like to put something um, over on, on the main farm instead. And uh, so how about uh, if, uh, if I just sell the house to your son? Okay, does that sound like a good deal? I think that, well, the asking price on the house uh, right now is... It's around um, 40000 I think. Um, it's actually a lot higher than that because the housing prices are so doggone expensive right now. But I'd be willing to, to sell it at, uh, you know, a reasonable market value. So let's say about 40000 Is that Would that work for your son? Fantastic. Okay, great. Well, let's, uh, let's uh, head on over to the bank then and draw up the papers, transfer the money, and, <clears throat> excuse me, the house is, is your son's. Sounds good. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Hello, yes, is this uh, Delbert's Demolition and Construction Company? Delbert, hey, how you doing? Yeah, hey, really appreciate uh, the, the work you did for us uh, the other day in demolishing that Black Widow infested building. Um, yeah, oh, one of your workers is in the hospital. He got bit and he isn't doing too well. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that's terrible, Delbert. Oh, my goodness. Uh well, I'll send him my uh, condolences and hope it gets better. Uh, but anyway, I was calling to wonder and wondering if you would maybe be interested in coming out to the property and uh, build a little farmhouse for me. I, I got a little money here and uh, need a farmhouse built and might even uh, have you put up a shed for me too. Would you be available to do that? You can come and do it right now? You? Oh, you, you want to get away from Delberta? She's driving you nuts? Okay. Well, come on out, man. I got the money and uh, we, we, can, we can get it going right now. All right, sounds good.
Yeah, is this uh, Delbert's Demolition and Construction Company? Delbert. Hey, this is OG. Hey, I just wanted to thank you for uh, doing such a great job on the on the new house and the shed. Uh, really appreciate it, man. I'll definitely call you up again in the future if uh, I need more construction or destruction work done. <laughs> okay, you have a good day. All right, bye-bye. Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming and we have ourselves a farmhouse, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed we do. Uh, so we got a farmhouse and we have our first shed too. So this is awesome, man. This is awesome. Uh, so yeah, in our little role play sesh there, uh, we ended up selling our, our house uh, for at, at what would be normal market value. <laughs> And, uh, you know, to, to uh, Mama Joe's uh, son. And then we took the money uh, from that sale and purchased a $30,000 house and a $10,000 shed. I really worked hard to try and fix this corner, but for some reason I could not. I can't I can't get this down. I don't know why. Um, it's so, yeah, it's, it kind of bugs me a little bit, but it is what it is. It uh, looks like it's a, still a little rough in through here, too. Uh, why don't we <clears throat> see if we can improve that just a little bit more. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on. It, it might have something to do with the house being there. Oh, you know what we could do? We could remove the house temporarily and see if that's what's causing this knot to go down here. Let's let's get ourselves out of the way. I'm wondering if that has something to do with it because maybe the, the house has like a little... Uh, uh, an area that has to stay level and it won't let you take that part of it down. Maybe? I don't know. I'll tell you what we're going to do, though. Let's save the game first, so that way if I screw something up, uh, we can at least reload. Okay, so um, because I'm moving this, I'm going to give myself $10,000 back because I'm selling it for twenty, so I can rebuy it. Um, to see if this makes a difference. Okay, so let's go into here. Uh, get out of here. Go into here. Give ourselves another ten grand. So we're back to where we started from. Because the house itself costs thirty. Okay, now let's see if we can chill out this corner a little bit. It's just a little bit too uh, sharp. Uh, maybe we can now that the house is no longer there. And then we'll put the house back on when we're done. Uh, okay, so let's go to landscaping and uh, I guess smoothing. Yeah, I think that's what it was. It was the house that was preventing us from rounding that off and making it so it's not quite so such a dramatic uh, thingy there, you know. Um, we could even potentially bring... Or at least just smooth this down a little more, too. And maybe even a little more. I don't want the driveway to have such a dramatic angle there. You always got to be careful using these landscaping tools because you can certainly overdo it, too. Um, that's not terrible. I wonder if we could um, bring it down even just a little more. There's going to be a little bit of a, a rise on that side when we drive through. But the thing is, I don't want to put the house any further back than it was because you know then it's like right into the trees um okay and so so that made that much better now let's also kind of come along here and smooth this down a little more too doesn't have to be absolutely perfect but you know we want it to look as natural as possible it looks like we could pop stand to just bump this up a little bit ok 
Okay, now let's smooth it. Oh, that wasn't smooth. This is the smoother. That's not too bad. Still a little bit of a bump there. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. That's much better than the, than the way that it was. Okay, let's put the house back now. So we were using this... Oh, wait, sorry, farmhouses. We were using this uh, red $30,000 house. Uh, this is from the American Farm Buildings Pack. And we had it turned this way. Let's make sure that it's square with the shop here. Right about there is pretty good. And then we'll try and put it back in place again so that it's lined up with our little walkways that we did here. Oh, wait a minute. This is the right house, isn't it? I thought there was a side thingy. Oh, we had put one of these down. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I actually didn't mean to. I wanted to put the smaller one down. So, yeah, this is the one I actually want to put here. Okay, so let's... I thought something didn't quite look right there. I just screwed up my angle. So let's <clears throat> see if we can get ourselves more or less square with the shop. Maybe just bump this over right about there. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't figure out, why isn't that matching up? Well, it's the wrong house, dummy. Okay. So how about if we stick it right there? Okay, good. Now, let's go back into here and go back into paint and... We'll put some grass just in this little spot here. I wish these uh, tools would be actually be on their border and not stick out because it's really makes things kind of a pain in the butt. All right, now if we just kind of go back here and back here. It doesn't, again, it doesn't have to be perfect because it wouldn't really, you know, be in real life either. I mean, I guess it would be. It could be. Okay, let's have this path go all the way back to here. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad, actually. That doesn't look too bad. This path here is a little bit steep still. So let's go back to sculpting and... Let's try and smooth this down just a little bit more so it's a little more gradual and not such a sharp angle there. Yeah, I think I think that'll work. Not that we're going to really be spending any time back there anyhow. Uh, okay. I think we're I think we'll call this good, you guys. You know, actually, you know what we should do? Let's let's gravel this whole area up here because that can be a, where we can park our pickup truck. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's do that. So we're gonna go. Uh, let's increase this to about there. There we go. So it kind of gives us just a little bit of a driveway to park the truck. I like it. All right. Now we have ourselves a shed too, finally. So we got to decide what's going to go in the shed. This is too long to fit in the shed, as is the tanker. Um, so I'll probably just park the tanker back here where I had it to, to begin with. Um, but we could probably get this in there. The header, we could... 
If we can fit the header through one of the bays, we could just butt it up against the wall and then put something in front of it, because the header's not something we're going to use that often. And then I'm pretty sure we have enough clearance for the cultivator. Is this building higher on this side? No, it's not. It's just the angle that it was at. And then, of course, you know, we'll park our tractors in there. The, um... These guys fit in here pretty good. Actually, you know what might be better, though, is to put these in the shed and put the two tractors in here since we're going to be using the tractors the most. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay, so let's uh, jump in our combine here. And what I'd like to do is, like I said, put the header. Uh, we're going to have to get the cultivator in first. But we'll put the header all the way up against the back wall of our shed. And then we'll put something else in front of it. Maybe the actual, maybe the cultivator itself. Um, you, we're just going to back right back up where you were. It was just, it wasn't letting me put the building there because it was too, a little too close. But now that it's in place, it shouldn't be a, an issue. Yep, I'm turning too sharp here. Let's get out here a little bit. Okay, let's pull back out and give it a little more room because it's right up against the bail loader there. There we go. I think that's fairly square with the shed. Maybe we could even go there with it. Okay. Looking good, man. Looking good. Can we actually connect to this with the pickup? We should be able to because it's just a normal hitch. We won't be able to hook the wires up, but... There we go. Okay, so let's pull this out of the way. In fact, what we'll do is we'll pull it up through here. Leave that there for the moment. All right, we'll grab the header. Um, hmm. Actually, you know what? I don't think we are going to be able to fit the header through those bays. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Darn it. It's a little too wide. Okay. Well, hmm. There is, you know, there are header trailers you can buy. But I wonder if I could, okay, let's try something. I'm going to try something. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Oh, no. You know what we can do, actually? Let's just back in. Because the header will still go go in quite a ways underneath the, the roof. So, yeah, we'll just keep it on the combine. I mean, why not, right? There we go. Look at that. Oh, man, I love it when a plan comes together. Nope, turn this way. Straighten up. Oh, okay. Let's go forward just a smidge. Make sure the wheels are straight. There. All right, man. That, that worked out great. That worked out phantasmagorical. And it's still quite a ways under, well, at least in the front anyway. <laughs> uh, out of the weather. 
It does stick a little bit over into this bay, but I don't think that'll be an issue. Okay, let's see if we can get you. Uh, we might actually... Uh, yeah, let's put you in the next bay over, just because that way we're not fighting the the header that is sticking out. You know, the other thing we could... Nah, let's just leave it the way it is. Ooh, this is going to clear, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm cutting it too sharp. Oh, yeah, there's lots of clearance. It's just kind of the angle that I'm at that made it look like maybe there wasn't. Okay. That's uh, about as far back as that's going to go. Let's pull it back out just a smidge. I like it. I like it. Me likey. Okay, cool. Now, the next thing we want to do is let's get let's get the baler in here. Because here again, I'd like to park my tractors in the barn. Now, all of this stuff I have over here, with the exception of maybe the trailer, which I'm not even going to try to back that thing up. Forget about it. Not going to happen. You know, this stuff is actually fine here. It, it's undercover. It's easy to get to. I think I'm, I'm going to leave it uh, exactly like it is. It might be easier, though, for us to move the pallets into the shed so we can pull right up to it and unload it. And we can put the, the front loader tool. Uh, uh, you know what, though? I think that's too tall to fit in there, so... We'll probably put the front loader in the in the new shed. And then this guy's spot is right here in our shiny new driveway. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Fantastic. I love it. Okay, so let's get the... Uh, let's get into you... And we'll get the baler parked and the front loader in the shed. The roller's pretty not pretty good where it is. I, I think I'm just going to leave that where it is for now. We're turning into a real farm here, guys. Guys and gals. It's amazing. Okay, let's put the baler in this bay. And now we'll grab this. That way we're getting it out of the weather. works.
You know, that shed is long enough, I think, to where we could probably back the bale trailer in there. The tanker... Well, yeah, the tanker would probably fit in there too, actually. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we do this? Let's, um... Let's reposition this guy. I don't know if I'll keep that there permanently, but we'll stick it there for now. I could I could move the baler over a little bit um, to make more room for that, but um, I think I want to put the, the bale loader in that bay because it should fit in there no problem. It goes really slow if you don't also hook the lines up. Now we might change things up a bit later on when we do like another hay contract and I start to keep some of the hay. Not the silage, because the silage is already wrapped anyways. So it doesn't really matter if that's outside. But, you know, if, if we start keeping hay um, for later usage or, or even straw, then we'll change things up a little bit in here and make room for that stuff in the back. But yeah, that, that actually works quite well and it's still quite a ways underneath but you know the the baler's not as deep so we could stack some hay along the back wall here and still have room to you know park the baler something along those lines but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so yeah let's get the baler moved over a little more to make uh, don't crash into the greenhouse uh, to make room for the better room for the loader there This is a pretty nice shed for only 10 grand. It's a uh, not a bad deal, really. Think about it. We can um, maybe get another one too later on. There's a lot of different sheds to choose from, uh, but some of them can be quite expensive. Yeah, I mean we could hold the baler out as far as this if we wanted to and have lots of room to put hay in behind there uh, or straw or whatever later on might even just put this in this way but we'll make it straight so it looks nice okay Let's put the McCormick on this side because it's a, just a little bit smaller, I think, than the New Holland. They're both medium tractors, but the New Holland's 
Got a lot more beef than this one. Oh, that looks great. Fantastic, you guys. I love it. Absolutely love it. This could go undercover, too, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay. Yep, this place is starting to look like a farm. Got our first shed and our first farmhouse. This game is just so fun. I am enjoying it thoroughly. And, yeah, that worked out pretty good, too, to have the, the header in like that way. It's undercover, mostly. I'm um, sticking out a little bit here, but you know, this is, it's not bad. It's looking good. It's looking good. I'm a liking it. All right, guys. Um, a couple things. Um, I actually stopped the game and, um, edited the video up to this point and realized a couple things. First of all, uh, I actually owe myself another $10,000. And the reason for that is because we sold that house for $40,000 Excuse me. I accidentally bought the same house for another $40,000 initially, which I didn't mean to do. And I bought the shed, which is $10,000. So that brought us out to $50,000. Then I sold the house I didn't mean to for $20,000 and gave myself $30,000 uh, or $10,000 back, um, which brought me back to $30,000. But I'm supposed to have $40,000. I don't know if that makes sense to you or not, but that's basically the math of it. And so um, we need to give ourselves another $10,000 to compensate for that. Okay, so that's done. Um, Now, I just realized, too, that this really sharp corner is back here because of where we put the house. So I think we're going to have to, and I don't, you know, I don't like that because it's just, it doesn't look like right. It's right in the middle of our, our driveway here. So we can try and smooth that down again. But if I have the same problem that I had before where I, I couldn't get it to, to smooth out, we're going to have to probably cut this elm tree down back there and push the house back even further. All right. So let's just see what happens here. If we go to the sculpting, um, can we, oh, we can. Okay, good, good. So we can actually lower that back down. It wasn't letting me do it before. I don't know why. Um, so let's just lo bring all of this down. So it's a nice little kind of a smooth slant there. And... Bring that down a little bit. And we'll use the smoothing tool to... Okay, actually here. That needs to be raised back up just a little bit there. Okay. That's better. Okay, just raise that just a, a smidge. Uh, okay, let's go to the smoothing tool now. Doesn't really seem to be doing a whole lot, does it? All right, let's go back to the raising tool and just uh, bump this a bit. Why isn't it? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's 
not too bad. It still has a bit of a bump right here. I'm, it's it's kind of hard to get the right angle of the camera because when I swing over that way, then I you know the workshop gets in the way a bit. Okay, why isn't it letting me activate? Oh, it's because I'm on the wrong thing. That's why. So just one little bump there, a little bump there. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, now, if we get the smoothing tool. Let's see if we can just smooth that out a little bit more. Yeah, that's not too bad. I, th I think it's definitely better than it was. Yeah, let's slant that down a little more, too. Okay. I think that's good. I I don't know why it wasn't letting me... Here, let's smooth this, too. Do that, you know, the last time, but it wasn't. It was, like, locked in place, but now it's... Now it seems to be letting me work with it a little more. Okay. I think that's pretty good. I guess the driveway back to relatively flat it still raises up a little bit here but unless we kind of smooth it even some more here which we can do yeah i like that okay that works fantastic all right peeps um i think uh i think we're we're done I, uh, we are uh at a good stopping point here so it is april 2nd I don't believe there are any contracts left because we did them all uh, yesterday on April 1st. So, yeah, nothing there. And, of course, we're just waiting for our produce to, uh, uh, or for the third day of the month like we, we typically do. And I am, uh, let's see, how's the chicken soon? So those guys are still in puberty. They're still in puberty. So they're, these are not quite making eggs for us yet. But once these two groups get up, to adulthood you know then our egg production is going to triple which is going to be great and uh as far as our greenhouses go we are pretty good on fertilizer there pretty good on fertilizer there starting to get low there but we can still go at least one more day um maybe you know probably even more than that before we have to worry about fertilizer uh, for that greenhouse too and once we reload everything with fertilizer and fill them up, which I'm going to do, you know, then they should all come down evenly. The reason they're not even is because before, of course, we had strawberries and tomatoes. So I'm really liking our shed, man. This looks great. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's fantastic. Okay, so I think the plan for the next episode is we're going to hop in a pickup truck. We're going to keep it on April 2nd. And we're going to hop in a pickup truck and we're going to go, we're going to go for a drive. We're going to drive and, and check out the map and see some of the sites we haven't seen yet. And we're going to also look for uh, the collectibles too. I don't normally care about that kind of stuff, except for that for every collectible that we do find, uh, we get a thousand bucks. So yeah, we'll pick them up for sure. Uh, for that reason alone, if, it, if, if we didn't get anything like for it, I wouldn't care, but a thousand bucks is a thousand bucks. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video, and we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.